What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today we're going to be taking a look at some incredible new arrivals at E-Knives. Uh, we haven't done this in a long time. So uh, I took a look at a couple other retailers to see you know, who had some interesting stuff and uh, I realized I had given E-Knives such a long time that uh, legitimately probably the most interesting stuff, at least in the realm of what I normally look at, is at eknives right now so i'm going to link eknives down in the description if you guys want to check this stuff out for yourself and not hear me yak on about it totally fine i'll link it down there for your convenience uh if you want to stick around with me and hear my thoughts on everything and go through and see if i can find some real treasures then stick around thanks so much to my patrons for supporting me please make sure to follow me on instagram at metal underscore complex and on tiktok at the underscore metal underscore complex okay uh first of all we have hawk deadlocks here now we do have some expensive ones obviously these get real pricey okay if you if you never knew about hawk knives if you never knew they existed here they are they're super expensive but we have some actual based price no i'm sorry we don't have we don't have actual base price hawk knives this is a pre-owned one there is one here for 1600 which is a, right around the price that i would say is like a fair base price for these you just don't see them at this price point i think it's cool that e-knives lists pre-owned stuff i think that's great if you want a brand new one especially with especially with like the the crazy inlays and stuff yeah you're gonna pay for them a lot of these are priced the same way that my brand new john wick 4 edition deadlock was priced uh they are just crazy but there's always people hunting these things so if you didn't know uh hopefully by tomorrow morning when you're watching this these will still be here Dwayne Dwyer, uh, DCG Custom BBNL. I don't know, although I'm not going to sit here and pretend that I do, right? Um, but uh, the you can look up the, the partnership, the Dwayne Dwyer and Strider partnership, if you're thinking, that looks like a Strider. You can look that up, right? If, you, I mean, if you're familiar with that, then you understand. Um, I, uh, American Knives. <laughs> hold on. If this was not... Hold on a second. Yeah. It, it, it has to be some kind of joke. Is that like somebody's last name? It's just funny because I was going to say these are Riyadh. But anyways, do they do a large version of this? Because if this knife, this exact knife, which is gorgeous, this is, uh, that's Zerkatai. Like Riyadh, whoever. The reason that Riyadh's Zirconium, not everybody likes the Zerkatai, right? Which is Titanium Damascus with layers of Zirconium mixed in. Lots of different patterns out there. The reason that I think Riyadh's looks so good is because of how thick and chunky all the layers are for those of you who like this material some of the best looking zirkatai that i have ever seen or black timascus whatever you want to call it right but zirkatai is the brand name it's so big and chunky and crazy and on my riot jack it's the same stuff so whoever's doing this for riot is doing it just for riot i always see the same things we see different stuff depending on who you know is supplying it whoever's doing it for riot is doing an awesome job um, I can see here it's only on one side, which is a bummer, but it's still a lot for 650. If this knife was a little over eight, I would own it. Uh, that is an awesome knife. Not everybody's gonna love that blade shape, but man, that looks cool. I really, really like that. I, I hope that they consider me. Yeah, it says it says mini ultimatum, so there has to be a large ultimatum. Now this one's got it on both sides. Hmm. 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 Man, I'm tempted. That's really cool. I've seen this thing floating around. I just wish that it was, uh, I wish that it was bigger. Bastinelli knives safe folding titanium. Who? Fox. Okay. So this is, I was going to say how, why is that? So not, I mean, obviously 350 bucks is expensive, right? But Bastinelli, not a, not a name that I associate with the $350 territory. So, okay, that makes sense. So, this that's made by Fox. Cool. That's cool, though. So, it's neat. Not something I've seen before. That's the type of stuff I'm looking for is stuff that I have not seen. Uh, real quick, I just want to look at this. Okay, I thought those were, like, holes all the way through. The, to, the, to my chefs in the audience, what are these for? Is this, is this, like, specific to kitchen knives? Does it do something special while you're cutting? I don't know. I'm genuinely curious. I'm not poking fun. Let's move on to page two here. <laughs> I don't like camo stuff. 
But I kind of like this. Number one, I am very, very, uh, like, as far as, like, what aesthetics I think look good in knives, the Strider profile, to me, is very cool looking. Uh, I used to I used to hate it. I used to passionately hate this big butt end back here. It's like, what is this? Why is this triangle so long? I don't like this, you know. But I, I started to love it. Uh, and I own one. Uh, but for some reason, I think that it's not the Digicamo itself. It's a combination of the gray, the blue, the bronze, and the tan. I think it just looks cool, right? Um, if you're hiding in rubble, that might, uh, you know, you might be camouflaged. Um, periodically, e-knives will get very strange versions of Microtex. Is this one? No, that's a custom. God, but that, man, that hot blued vines and roses looks awesome. Um, every now and then they get strange, uh, you know, really off the wall signature series Microtech knives. So if you're hunting for the weird, I say this every single, every single time, every tingle, every single time that I showcase the eKnives website. If you're hunting for a weird Microtech, there's a few different stops online. eKnives is definitely, definitely one of them. A lot of retailers seem to get the same stuff. I wish that, for example, like I wish DLT got more of the weird Microtechs. eKnives seems to get, eKnives seems to get a lot more of the of the strange ones. Uh, that scarab right there, that's super cool. If it were, I would consider picking this up if it didn't have the serrations. I'm looking for a scarab. I just need the right one to jump out at me. Um, I've been tempted a million times by the standard one. If you're looking for a standard Scarab 2 Gen 3, this is the newest one, uh, with the stonewash blade, right? Here it is. It's right here. And I, I seem to see these fairly regularly. They got a two-tone one there. Very cool. Nottingham Tactical Pens. Got to admit, they look pretty cool. Uh, ooh. Zirconium Oil Slip. Ooh, that's such a cool pen. That's such a cool pen. Oh my gosh, it's eight hundred dollars. Ah, that's so cool. They got uh, the dark tie, the zirka tie pens, right? Really cool. I love those. They do have they, they have uh, hinder knives. Uh, obviously, the ones that are still hanging out are the three inch um, harpoon tantos. Not a super a super popular configuration in the three inch. The three inch XM18 seems to be the least popular of the XM series knives. Um, I mean, that makes sense, right? Um, but certain variations, just like any other variation of Hinder, a lot of people will see a Hinder sitting at retailers and they'll just assume all Hinder knives are sitting at retailers now. No, it, ask any Hinder collector, it's the, a specific variant. If the variant itself is not, there was a time period where it didn't matter. If it said Hinder, it was gonna sell for a long time now. Uh, certain variations of knives don't sell and other variations of knives sell qu so quickly that you a lot of people never even knew that they dropped right um, that happens all the time for example you know if a, a new run of non-flippers i'm sorry yeah non-flipper fullard spears were to drop on dlt because that's an exclusive they'd be gone in a heartbeat uh, no choil slicers or skinny slicers gone in a heartbeat that's just certain variations of those knives go really quickly so if you're on the hunt for something if you find it, don't wait, because it could go. Uh, really interested in checking out the Cypher. I just, how much different is it really than, it's eight and a half inches, so it's like the size of a Glycom, I guess. I just don't, what is special about the Cypher? What is different about the Cypher? They're like, we need a knife specifically in this territory, right? Four inch, translucent. XM24. This also was kind of hit or miss. These, uh, this one is the non-anodized. I've noticed the non-anodized ones seem to be a bit more popular than the anodized ones. Um, I don't know. So, but another example of a not super pop, more popular I think than the three-inch versions, but not nearly as popular as past configurations of Hinder knives. This Medford T-bone is just very uninteresting to me. Um, I, the, I say this all the time, so many different uh, Hinder, or I'm sorry, Medford models that have come out recently are just not interesting. Uh, they make good knives. I just, I'm waiting for something to really jump out at me. 7,000, oh, that's the giant one. Okay, yeah. This is three times larger. That is, so, <laughs> that knife gives me nightmares because that's the one that I accidentally fired into my hand however many years ago. 
lots and lots and lots of uh, XOUs. Uh, this is apparently a V2 with the magnetic thing or some other, you know, I'm not sure exactly what is upgraded. The coolest ones definitely are these distressed ones. Uh, I think that looks good, right? If you plan, I mean, I understand it's an $80 utility knife, but if you buy this, you probably plan on using it and not displaying it. So uh, that would be my pick over like the solid colors because it's gonna end up getting beat up anyway. What on earth is this? Bird feather titanium, this is gorgeous. I mean, I'm, I'm not like somebody who wants feathers and stuff on my knife, but man, the anno work there is really, really nice. That is beautiful. That's the little tiny guy. That's cool. I don't know that I've seen a lot of TRMs that are anodized. Uh, they still have. There's a Neutron 2 here. In, it says Lizard Skin Texture White Storm Fat Carbon. Oh, it's got like scales on it, huh? Oh, yeah. Okay. That's nice. I like that. Uh, I noticed that they had a bunch of these drop, whole bunch of XM20. There's even a stonewashed one right there. That's my heel. Sorry, I'm going to do this again. It's my heel on top of my new 80 slot Pelican case, which is being used as a footrest, but it definitely sounds like farts. It's not. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Do we have any that are not? And see what I mean? The ones that are always left over. If they have one that is stonewashed on the, there's one right there, but it's of course it's an orange. Oh, they got one in tan too. Okay, if you're looking for a regular stonewashed variation, they do have them. They're just in orange and tan, the two least popular colors for the stonewashed configuration, or at least from my perspective. I mean, really, what I'm saying is I wouldn't buy those those colors. Then again, it doesn't really matter to me because I always piece of food from lunch was still stuck to my face so i'm discarding of it um i always customize my hinders so i guess it doesn't really matter to me this knife right here the gtr this is really intriguing and i'm going to be honest with you guys i'm going back and forth on it it's an integral right uh it also has honestly on paper here i number one i know it's good because it's a reout I've handled enough Riots. A lot of you guys have handled enough Riot knives or even one to know that it's going to be good. Okay. 8.86 inches. That's, that's a big knife, right? Awesome. M390. Riot does a good job with M390. Harpoon. Check. Uh, we have titanium with zirconium inlays. Check, check. Right. If I was reading this, I'd be like, oh my gosh, let me see it. Well, the problem is, is it looks like it's got a bunch of vents and stuff all over. This is so weird. Like, it's it's very impressive. Uh, like, looking at all the machining that went into it. And the blade is cool. <clears throat> but the aesthetic of this knife is holding me back. Had they just done the handle plane or something else with, without the weird air vents, I think I would have been a lot more excited. This is the same thing, but it's got a satin finish on it. Instead of the, the uh, tumble um it does it looks cool i think the price is on point a lot of people say, oh, can't buy. it's an integral it's so it, it, like the only way to get an integral like a true integral way down under that 400 hundred dollar price tag is to basically have it devoid of any machining complexity whatsoever right uh and you'd also have to like to get it way under a lot of people point out like there's under 300 integrals yeah but they're, they're incredibly simple a lot of times using lesser materials for the blade, right? Um, but one of the most impressive uh, integrals under 400 was the Wii Ator. It's amazing to me that they got that thing under 300. But if you want anything special in it, right? You want special coatings, you want special steel, you want special milling, it's going to be 400 plus, period, right? Uh, so less expensive integrals exist. They're going to be made in China. Less expensive integrals exist. They're not going to be super complicated, you know? Uh, we've got Protec TR3 Protec, uh, Maker's Choice Newport. We have, is that a recurve? Microtech Hera 2? Okay. Moving on, moving on. Another recurve Hera 2 right there. We got the Skull Inlay Protec TR4. Is the TR4 the big one? Yeah. 
nine and a quarter inches. That is a large fellow with the skull inlay there. That's kind of neat. Okay. There was a time where I obsessed over that. And when I finally decided I want one, they were gone for like two years. <laughs> All black, Hera, two-tone blade. Standard Microtech Stitch. This is one of the knives I always say everybody needs to try. Uh, a, a stitch in some form, right? But the auto stitch is truly awesome. I mean, that that in an, this knife in and of itself is just a wild experience. Even if you're familiar with automatic knives, this is, I think, 180 thousandths, 185 thousandths. They probably don't list it here. That's a thick blade with one of the most powerful automatic knife coil springs. That thing kicks so hard. Uh, plus, the ergonomics of the stitch make that particular configuration. Auto plus the, the wild stitch um, profile. It's just an absolutely wild experience. Yeah, it's a lot of money. It's American made. Really, really cool. That is a super good looking uh, Marauder H-frame. All DLC. I love that. Is that S45VN? That is the first Medford knife I have seen in a long time that I love. And I know, yeah, you're like, yeah, it's the Marauder, though. That's the one you always like. Uh, yeah, I own one that's very similar to this, but all um, stonewashed. And I got I to gotta say, that is really tempting. Is this mirrored or is it black? What is the blade? Cracked ice. Cracked ice mirror titanium. Okay, it just looked black. It must be reflecting something black. That's cool. The cracked ice finish is what I have on my uh, Marfion Borka stitch, which has just like a tumbling and then a mirror polishing. Uh, Heretic Custom Nyx hefted. I do like that. I do like that dweeb Damascus there or whatever it is. Vegas Forge, something or other. Now is this one Meteorite? God dang. You can get some really crazy stuff from Heretic for way. It's like, I mean, a lot of like, and we, I mean, we know why, which is essentially like the Microtech level finish work for thousands less. Nothing from Benchmade right now is incredibly interesting. Um, that's cool if it wasn't serrated on one side. That Glycon, I always look, I always look for those Glycons. Man, that is absolutely wild. Marfion Custom Warhound Folding Knife Satin Titanium Copper Carbon Fiber Inlay. Uh, that's the Matrix Pre-Owned 325. Not a terrible price. Let's keep going here. We have, I can't believe, 13 pages of stuff. This E-Knives right now is a gold mine of stuff. Okay, we're back to Protech Prometheus because I said uh, PDW Invictus um, Protech variation. They've got the Sapphire Blue Godson. Small sabins. Uh, I just I want to keep going just just in case. I, I always feel like I'm one page away from something absolutely wild. McNeese PM Mach Two, three and a half inch. There's still some basic ones sitting here for five thirty five. It's a good knife. Definitely, if you've been hunting that one, same territory as your Chris Reeve, your Hinderer knives, Demco knives, the USA stuff, right? So many microtechs. They still have the Chapman Lakes uh clk1 dlc titanium i remember looking at that last time so we are definitely back um into that zone let's look at the exclusives real quick just to see if they have anything new pen hat baseball bat uh the luck concepts i didn't know they did a, an exclusive with that one uh, oh it's the e-knives texturing okay i see yeah i remember now we've got the e-knives texturing on a lot of this stuff I think, I'll, I think these have been here for quite a while. Let's go to, um, let's go back to new and I wanna check the, uh, the restocks page. Just in case, I feel like they fill this out the same way that they, there's still a titanium neuron two there. That's still sitting there. That blows my mind that that's still there. Uh, Price, I feel like, has bumped on these by quite a bit. Didn't these used to be like $350? Still a cool knife, though. And these are small batch USA. Again, same territory as your Hinderer stuff. Nested liner lock, though. Full tie on each side. A lot of people would argue this is a better deal. It's essentially a perfect BBC knife. I 
love that texturing. I absolutely love it. That is spectacular. If that's still here tomorrow morning, I might use that. Uh, like when you guys want, that might be in the thumbnail, you know, with my face, like <laughs> with the laser eyes. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Cool. Really cool stuff. It, like what? so much interesting stuff at eKnives for sure. That's going to be it today, guys. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. I hope you guys found something that you liked. If eDives uh, e is not on your radar, they definitely should be. Like I said, I'll link everything down in the description so that you can check it out. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.